In today's video, we are going to explore some plugins which you can use with IntelliJ IDEA. These plugins will boost your productivity and save your time. Also, I have checked these plugins with IDEA Community Edition so you can use them without purchasing IntelliJ license. After watching this video, you will understand how to use them easily. Suppose you have a complex and nested blocks of code. There are multiple ifs or loop blocks such as these. At times, it becomes difficult to understand where a block starts and ends. There is a plugin called brackets to help you out. Go to plugins dialog, press Ctrl Alt S and search for brackets. This is a paid plugin but the feature we are interested in is totally free. Install it and restart the ID. Look, each block can now be identified with a different colored start and end braces. And if we click on a start brace, the corresponding end brace is highlighted and vice versa. So, it makes nested blocks pretty convenient to understand. If you are working on a Spring Boot project and dealing with application.yml, then this plugin is for you. Let's create application.yml file and add a property spring.integration.management.default logging enabled. Now there are two problems. First, you need to remember the complete property name even if you know a part of it. Second, you have to type the entire property name manually. This becomes very tedious for a long property such as this. But not after watching further. Go to plugins and search for Spring Boot Assistant. This is completely free. Click install, apply and OK. Back to application.yml. Type Spring. Look, it is suggesting the options. When you click the property, it gets automatically added. It also suggests the default values and the purpose of the property. We can remove this now. To get the suggestions manually in case the window closes, press Ctrl plus space on Windows or Command plus space on Mac. Let's add another property to change the default server port. This plugin will definitely save time for YML users. Let's create a class user having fields ID, first name, last name, city, state and country. Generate the getter and setter methods. To do so, right click, click generate, select all fields and press OK. Back to another class, create an object of user. Now, the most common use of this object will be to set the values of its fields. What one will do is to call each of these setter methods manually. This is fine for objects with a few fields. For large objects, this is really a pain. Here comes another plugin. Press Ctrl Shift S. Search for Generate All Setters. Click Install. Back to Class. Right click and select context actions. You can also press Alt and Enter keys. Look, we get all these options. Click and boom. We have all the setter methods called automatically. It also has an option to write setter methods with default values. You can also create getter calls and assign them to corresponding variables automatically. There is another cool feature of this plugin. In a typical web application, we need to convert one object to another with same values, such as a database entity object to a DTO, which is sent as a response, or DTO received in request and converted back to entity. For example, let's create another class user DTO. Copy the properties of user, generate getter and setters, now, create a method whose return type is the DTO and parameter is user. We need to copy all property values of user into DTO and return it. Normally, we would create a DTO object 
call setter method on every field of DTO and set its value with corresponding getter of user object. Another way is right click, show context actions or alt plus enter and select generate setter getter converter. Look what just happened. It created the DTO object and set all its values with user object getters. Isn't that great? Remember that it will do this for only matching properties of both objects. Another plugin I will be covering in this video is Maven Helper due to its useful features that you all will agree if you are using Maven as your build tool. Go to plugins window, search for Maven Helper, click install, restart. When you click pom.xml, you can see dependency analyzer tab which is added by this plugin. This is a Spring Boot project that I am using and it has loads of dependencies. Click on dependency analyzer. Here you can see the list of dependencies. You have the option to view them as a list or as a tree like structure to have a clear picture to know the source of a particular dependency. The dependencies in green are test dependencies. So you know that they won't be bundled at runtime. If you click on a dependency, you will come to know the sources from where it is coming. Like if I click SLF4J, it is coming from these dependencies. Jackson Core, its version is 2.3.14 and it's being pulled by these different dependencies. Though we can also get this tree like structure with Maven using MVN dependency tree command. Here, like this, but it is not so easy to analyze and navigate. You also have an option to search for a particular dependency by using filter. Now I am going to show you the most important feature of this plugin which is very useful in real life. This project is using a spring starter dependency. It also brings snake YML along with it. Look, its version is 1.30 and it is coming from spring boot starter web. Now I have a requirement to add its 1.33 version probably due to a new feature or any other reason. So add its dependency and now refresh the project to download and add it to class path. Go to dependency analyzer and click re-import to refresh the tree. Scroll down. Look, we have a conflict. Let's filter it to get a clear picture. It also shows the versions where conflict is. And if you click this, here we can see that version 1.30 is from Spring Boot and 1.33 is from a separate dependency. And now just right click and you also have the option to exclude this. Click exclude. Go to bomb.xml. Look, it automatically added the dependency as an exclusion to its parent dependency. How good is that? And this feature is very useful in practical applications and will save a lot of time when you need to resolve the dependency conflicts. Another plugin that is of use is a code autocomplete plugin. Open plugins dialog and search for code completer. Select AI Xcoder completer and install. Restart the IDE. Now let's type input. Look at this icon. All the auto suggestions with this icon are coming from the plugin we just installed. Look, we are automatically getting longer suggestions. Next, simply type buffer and it suggested the entire line of code to initialize a buffered reader. This will really boost up your coding speed.